If you've ever loaded into a raid with no tourniquet, hit that like button. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to heal yourself and escape from Tarkov. But before we go over how to heal yourself, we first need to discuss how to identify the problem. Now Tarkov has a shit ton of icons when it comes to the health system, so let's simplify it down to the ones you actually need to worry about. Light bleeds, heavy bleeds, and fractures. So now that we've identified what the icons are, let's talk about what they actually mean. A light bleed is just what you think. You are lightly bleeding out, and if your health pool reaches zero, you will die. A heavy bleed is like a light bleed on fucking steroids. If you have multiple heavy bleeds, and you don't fix that shit, you are going to die. A fracture, the best way to think of it is like a broken leg or a broken arm. If you have a leg that's fractured, your guy's going to be walking around like he's walking on a peg leg. If you have a fractured arm, your accuracy is going to be bad, your weapon is going to sway, and your recoil management is going to suck ass. On screen is a image of all the medical items in the game except for painkillers and injectors. So we know what the icons are, and we know what they do. How do we fix it? Let's start off with light bleeds. To fix a light bleed, you can use one of two bandages. The aseptic bandage and the army bandage. These two items do the exact same thing, except the army bandage has two uses instead of one. You can also stop light bleeds with any of the first aid kits, except for the AI2. All the AI2 does is just restore HP. But if you have a car kit, for example, and you don't have any bandages, you can use the car kit to stop your light bleed, but it will take 50 HP from the car kit. Moving on from light bleeds, we will now be discussing heavy bleeds. To stop a heavy bleed, you need a tourniquet. There's three different tourniquets in the game. The worst one is the S-March tourniquet, and it's only because the use time is 5 seconds. The next best one is the Cat tourniquet, which takes 3 seconds to use. And the best one is the Calic B, which takes 3 seconds to use, and also has 3 uses out of it. You can also use kits to stop heavy bleeds, but I would highly suggest to not do that because for example, a Salewa has 400 out of 400 uses. If you use the Salewa to stop a heavy bleed, it uses 175 charges, which is pretty much half of the Salewa on just stopping one bleed. So if you panic and you have two heavy bleeds and you use your Salewa for both of them, you're basically fucked if you don't have any other way to heal up. So we've gone over light bleeds and heavy bleeds and how to fix them. How do we fix fractures, and what do fractures do to us? So starting with the legs, each leg fractured reduces your speed by 45%. You also get decreased jump height, and sprinting causes further damage to your leg. If your left arm gets fractured, according to the wiki, using items in searching containers is 67% slower than normal speed. Reloading and drawing weapons is 50% slower. If your right arm gets fractured, using items in searching containers is 50% slower than normal. Reloading, drawing, and aiming weapons takes 67% more time. So in theory, if your right arm gets fucked up, your aiming is going to be shit. But you can search containers a little bit faster if your right arm gets messed up than your left arm. I don't know why. That's a weird one. I don't know if this is true or not. Your head, your thorax, and your stomach cannot be fractured. So how do we fix fractures? There's two different splints. You got the immobilizing splint which takes five seconds to use and has one use. And you've got the aluminium splint, which takes three seconds to use and has five uses. You can also fix a splint with the Grizzly medical kit and it removes 50 HP from the medical kit. And you can also fix splints with the Serve 12 field kit. Let's talk about surgery kits and why you would need them. 
So a surgery kit removes destroyed body parts except for the head and the thorax because if that gets destroyed, you're fucking dead. If your right arm goes black, so a word that a lot of people use is, oh, my arm is blacked. That means that instead of it being green or yellow or red, it is literally black on your health screen. If it is black, that means that arm is dead as fuck. The only way to fix that is to either use the CMS surgical kit or the survival field kit, which is the serve 12 shit I was talking about earlier. The main difference between the two is the CMS kit takes 16 seconds to use, but it only brings back up to 45% of the maximum HP that the limb had. The survival kit does the same thing as the surgical kit, except it takes 20 seconds to use and it can bring back up to 72% of the HP from the limb. And it also can remove fractures. If your stomach gets blacked out, you will slowly lose hydration and energy. If you do not use a surgery kit on your stomach and your hydration and energy goes to zero, you will slowly start to die. Let's talk about medical kits really quick. The AI2, which is otherwise known as the cheese, only heals HP back. The car kit heals HP back and removes light bleeds. It cannot remove heavy bleeds. Salewas, Ifax, Afax, and the Grizzly all remove heavy and light bleeds. The Grizzly, though, can remove heavy, light, and fractures, and removes concussion. I would suggest keeping the Grizzly in your stash, and then instead of using Therapist after every raid, if you die or you get out of raid with a little health gone, you use the Grizzly because Therapist doesn't give you XP when you heal. The Grizzly, and all the other medical items, if you use that in your stash, it will give you XP. So don't ever use Therapist, use the fucking Grizzly Kit or the best, the most charged one you fucking have to heal up. Little tip to get extra XP. Painkillers remove pain, obviously. If you get a fractured leg and you're walking slow as shit and you are in a bad situation, if you pop a painkiller, you remove pain so you can sprint and all that shit like normal and then run away, fix yourself up, and then get back in the fight. There is a couple different painkillers I want to talk about. The Analgen or whatever. That removes pain for 95 seconds, adds negative 19 hydration. Um, ibuprofen has 15 uses. It removes pain for 290 seconds and is negative 17 hydration. Vaseline removes pain for 350 seconds, has six uses, and takes nine hydration and nine energy. And the Golden Star Bomb has 370 seconds of pain removed and takes negative 19 energy. Here's a few tips to help you out when it comes to healing. You can set your healing items to different numbers on your keyboard, so four through zero. And whenever you click that number, it'll use that item. You also can drag your item to whatever limb you want to heal or also right click use you can also double left click on the item to use it as well here's the minimum meds i would take into a raid i'd bring one cheese two s marches one bandage and then inside your butt pouch i'd put a cms kit and a splint 